Hey, welcome back to the Back with Gourmet. Today we're making sausage again, so y'all stay tuned. Well, today I thought we'd make a nice uh, batch of bratwurst. I know uh, my other Italian sausage, fresh Italian sausage video has been doing really good up on YouTube, but we didn't have the greatest camera angle for uh, tying the sausages, so this is going to be the follow-up video to help you do that. The other thing is, uh, last time I made sausage, uh, I forgot one very important thing uh, making a sausage before I started, which was casings. Okay, I had casings, but I didn't check them. They were in a sealed pack, just like these. Same kind, limb, limb sausage casings. I just assumed that these were fine. They were not. So, this time, we're going to make sure these guys are in good shape before we start. Okay, well, last time I opened this pack up, and, uh, you know, I bought those at... Uh, a store to remain nameless uh, Bass Pro Shops I don't know how long they've been on the shelf but as soon as I opened them up an overwhelming smell of poop uh, hit me but I looked at them some more and I said well these are packed in salt that should be fine these don't smell like poop that's a good thing Check them before you start making all your meat. So, uh, yeah, well, long story short, last time I rinsed them, they smelled fine. I went ahead and made my sausage. Uh, it actually spoiled the entire batch. The casing spoiled the batch. So, apparently, there was some uh, leftover bacteria in these that weren't uh, processed properly and spoiled uh, about 10 pounds of. Uh, 10 pounds of sausage. So, check them before you start. Good tip. Uh, I always do it now. These used to come a lot drier. Um, and I have had a few of these that were too old and they were very, very tough. You couldn't hardly even bite through them once they were done. So, I guess it's a crapshoot. These are really the only kind that are available around here. I would love to. My little family butcher shop closed up where I used to be able to buy them fresh. So we're going to get these soaking in some warm water and uh, get them ready because it takes a little while. Okay, today we're going to use about half a hank. Uh, hank is some unit of measurement for these casings, which is a uh, it has a little ring on it and I guess it's uh, like um, how many fit through their little ring is a hank so for you, if you don't want to worry about what a hank is if you buy them at the butcher shop they're gonna ask you how many hanks you want a hank will do about 20 pounds I'm pretty sure the limb packages come with enough to do 20 pounds we used we're gonna do about 10 pounds we used about half the package soaking in warm water and like I said, give these the sniff test before you, if they don't smell it the least bit funky, do not use them. All right, we got our pork butt sliced up, so we're going to go ahead and start our grind. First grind, coarse plate. You see this big limb, big bite grinder. Uh, as long as it'll fit down that hole, It'll grind it, even this big piece like this. As long as it'll go down there, it'll grab it, it'll chew it up. So it really makes a short work out of this part. And it'll go just about as fast as I can feed it. Long, again, long strips like this, not cubes. We'll go ahead and finish this up and see when we get it all done. Okay, that right there is uh, 10 pounds of coarsely ground pork butt. In this bag we have two and a half pounds of ground 
brisket fat that we saved from our last uh, brisket cook. We always say that it's a good, good source of fat for your sausages. Um, it's nice, uh, very white fat. Uh, try to get some pork fat from the butcher. I got there a little too late. And he'd already tossed it for the day. Cause he, usually, if you got a, a hometown butcher shop, I use uh, Bravo, which is a Spanish restaurant or Spanish market here in uh, our area, because they have their own butcher shop and they will go in and get you uh, untrimmed, which is what we started with here—a completely untrimmed um, pork butt to start with. And if you get there at the right time, or if you let them know ahead of time. They will actually save you pork fat and uh, just give it away. It's free because it's going in the trash anyway. So we're just going to mix the uh, the fat with the uh, pork butt there, and we'll get our seasoning ready. Okay, uh, here's our spice blend, and I'm not going to waste your time on the video here of giving you all the uh, amounts for this. So we'll leave them at the end and we'll give it to you in a five, for a five pound recipe. We're doing uh, 15 pounds here today. So all we did was take that recipe and make it two and a half times the amounts. But the biggest trick here is to take some nice warm water. It's got a lot of sugar in it, other spices. Nice warm water, but just enough in here just to dissolve all this into um, kind of a thick paste. All right, and that's gonna melt the sugar, it's gonna distribute the salt, all the other spices around in there. Okay, so we just put warm water in, and now we'll cool it back down. We can use some ice, or we could use something that goes really good with bratwurst. All right, so to bring our temperature down, we're gonna go ahead and put a beer in there, about a half a beer. Believe me, you're going to need this moisture to get this whole thing to go through the grinder much easier. And of course, a little beer flavor in your bratwurst will never hurt anybody. Use whatever you want. I'm using what I got. So we'll let that hang on a minute and then we'll mix it into the meat. Okay, we brought our meat back in from the fridge. You, you want to put your meat in the fridge between all these steps. Okay, keep it cold. And we're going to evenly pour our spice mixture right over the top. Alright, this is the best time to have you some gloves on and just get in there and start squishing it all together and try to mix it up as evenly as possible. And uh, if you got one of those nice little sausage maker mixer thingies the big bin that would be great if you don't you can get by without it this is 15 pounds right here and uh, as long as you got that liquid in there from your spice blend it's gonna be fine especially since it's going back to the grinder another time a roll Okay, going for a second grind now, and we've installed a fine plate on our grinder this time, so bratwurst contain, uh, needs to be a fine ground. So we'll go ahead and start it up and uh, start feeding our sausage and season mix through.
All right, we have our casing full. We left it understuffed. You want it, you don't want to fill them all the way up for doing this project. And then now what we're going to do, we're going to tie our sausage links. You know, you know, we've done this before, but here hopefully you'll be able to see what we're actually doing. I'm going to select what size we're going to make our bratwurst in. We're going to make them like uh, about 8 inches long. I like a little bigger one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and twist that first one off, right? Now we're going to loop these up about the same length. You know, that guy here, he's wanting to twist already. So just even them out. Alright, so we're going to take this guy up and, you know, kind of match the length on him. To about 8 inches. And we're going to pinch him right here where he matches. And we're going to pinch him up at the top. And we're going to twist him a couple times. That's going to form a link. Alright, we're going to leave our first guy dangling down there. We're going to bring up our next one to the top right here where we pinched it. We're going to pinch it again. Okay? And then we're going to go towards you through the center. And we're going to pull it back through. Okay? This is why you need to leave a little space in your casings. Then we're going to grab them with our thumb back here about the same length. We're going to twist them again. Alright, bring them all the way around. Alright, now our long end is way under here, so we're going to bring him right back up again to the same length as our others. We're going to kind of get him right here. I'm trying to get it where you guys can see. But we're holding these guys at the top and we're just going to make them the same length and we'll pull them right through. Okay? And we can keep doing this for as long as as this whole sausage roll is. In this case, we've just about hit the end of it right here about the end of the casing. So we'll make the little little guy at the end there. We'll loop him around a couple times and we'll loop him through up and over and that'll complete the sausage link of three eggs. Okay folks, here's, uh, here's the links we've made for dinner. And, uh, you know, we didn't uh, do the big links on those. Uh, these need to dry. Uh, these fresh ones here, we're just going to go ahead and throw this on the grill. We'll go out here and uh, to the, uh, the fridge. And we're going to deal with these guys. We just got them in the tubs. And we got them out here in our extra fridge in the shed. And we just laid them in the tubs. And we're going to keep turning those and let them dry uh, right here in the refrigerator. Uh, for probably about a day till the till the uh, casings they got a casings have got to set before we can uh, hey thanks them. for watching the backwoods gourmet as always please subscribe share comment hey and if you like what we're doing hit that like button we'll see you next time Here's our mixture. We just pull this back out of the free. Cut. No, this has got to be cut. cut. What's the matter? I said this has got to be thrown out.